My name's Julian, and this is the $1 to $10,000 thrifting challenge. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis? Plenty money going around, I'm not selfish. And the ladies love me, Elvis. <laughs> Yo, what is up, guys? Now, I know this video has taken me a little longer to put out. I'm trying my best. I did want to wait for an event that I am going to. That's why I put off the video a little bit, because I wanted to include that footage. We got a lot of good content and a lot of good thrift finds this time around. And on top of that, our balance is gonna be looking pretty good. Since last video, I've sold all of these items. And that makes our current balance this. Great success. Whoa. Another reason I took a little longer to upload this video is because I wanted to see if we could rack in more sales. And since the selling part of the video and like working up the balance has been a little slower, I do have something to fix that. So basically I partnered up with Whatnot, and what whatnot is, it's kind of like an eBay, but you go live and you auction off items. The bids start at $1. So you can literally get an item for $1 on um, whatnot. And the crazy part about this, I have a link in the description. If you use that link to download the app and sign up, you get $15 off your first order. That is crazy. So my plan is to take all the remaining items that we have in our inventory after today's thrift trip and go live on whatnot and see what happens. I'm a little scared because you kind of need viewers on there to do well and to obviously sell things. If you guys aren't there and it only sells for five bucks, it only sells for five bucks. You got to steal, you got it for five bucks. But I don't know, I just want to try it out. Hopefully it'll work out good. Hopefully this video does good so I can get some signups. I'm really excited for it and I'm going to drop some more information at the end of this video. So stick around, wait to see what we get today and decide for yourself if you want to sign up and maybe buy something on the live auction on whatnot. That's pretty much it. Let's get into the video. Yo, so I just got out of the shower. The hair's a little messed up. Don't mind it, but we're at the thrift. The community thrift store, 50% off today. I'm just gonna bring up World Cup real quick. USA getting knocked out. It hurts, but honestly, they played a great, but honestly, they did a great job. Damn, that motherfucker loud. Honestly, they did a great job. And in four years when the World Cup is in USA, I think we'll look really good. Our team was so young. We have a lot to develop. These players are good. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And I'm just excited to see what they got in the thrift today. I've been working on how to, to like make the volume consistent throughout the video. Cause I know some, some people have told me like it peaks with certain things and like the background music sucks. So I'm going to talk very loud today in the thrift, assert my dominance. I pretty much own this thrift at this point. The amount of money I've spent at this thrift. I, I'm a goddamn part owner at this point. I'm just going to talk as loud as I want. Maybe I'll pussy out when I'm in there, but right now I'm feeling good. Let's see what they got. Basically this place is so packed right now that I literally had to follow someone out to their car to grab their cart with them. So that was funny, but we got some heat right now and I'm not even close to done. Fuck, I'm panicking. I don't want to talk too loud. <laughs> what do we think of the fit today? Got the Jesus fit on. Look at these piece. Uh, thrifted this boy. So I just about finished looking at everything and I found some heat. So let's take a look. There's a bunch of noises going on in here. So bear with me. I'm gonna try to talk loud, but also not trying to be rude, you know? I'm just gonna talk as loud as I want. We got a bunch of different like places, shirts, if that makes sense. We're starting off with this Nashville shirt on the jerseys tag and we got an Alaska tee with people going to work. It does have a, a little bit of a stain on the side. Not sure what that is, not gonna touch that. And we got Florida, Sunshine State. This graphics is pretty cool. I don't know, green shirts are just hideous though. Costa Rica, Pura Vida with all the little animals on there. I don't know, animal shirts kind of go crazy. They kind of go crazy. Margaritaville, Las Vegas. You know, nice little graphic on the front. Look at the back though, nice. Trespassers will be offered a shot. And then I'm really good at this. You could say that I'm a master baiter. <laughs> Look at this shirt. That's funny as shit. That made me laugh. Fight! This Mickey and Pluto shirt, this is a good one, man. It's new school, but honestly, I still love it. Vintage 2000s, gray tag, Nike Essentials tee. Good pickup right here. And we got the Ghostbusters tee, the graphic on this. I ain't afraid of no ghosts, that's cool. Now this one is just wild. Look at that, bro. This graphic is all over. Like, that's crazy. 
on the street since 69. Dang. And this one's actually sick. It's a 2021 shirt, but the graphic, I, I love this like style, like this 80s, 90s style. It's very cool. I found a Venom shirt in the last uh, thrift trip. This one's way cooler. This graphic's crazy. Then we got a Led Zeppelin shirt. This one's insane. And I'm kind of questioning it a little bit because it's on a, a Cygnus tag. And I don't know too much about this kind of stuff, but very cool find regardless. We got these Adidas pants. It's one of the ones that uh, take off the buttons on the side. This is a good pickup for $6, 50% off. Three dollars. Then we got some Dickies, the all over flag piece. And then we got a little Sonoma Essentials piece. This is a great brand to look out for in the thrift. The quality is great on these. I always pick these up. Definitely look out for Sonoma. Yeah, we got another Nashville piece. Gives me like vintage Tommy Hilfiger vibes. Vintage Champion. Love the zipper. Like look at this embellishment on the front cool zipper and embroidery is nice and okay, we got a nike essentials hoodie and this one of my favorite finds actually this oakley zip up bro four dollars for this that's crazy this one's sick I, I love this piece and i saw this one on the rack because i saw jerry chilling on the sleeve and like the rest of the piece is pretty cool too then we got a jay cutler jersey six dollars for this one that's like the cheapest we've ever seen so it's gonna be three dollars I mean, I might have to cop that just cause. And we found some Janowskis. These are discontinued. They are no longer making Janowskis anymore. So these are a pretty cool find. I heard they might resell for a lot. I don't really know about that, but still a cool find. <laughs> Sensational. Another day, another thrift. Let's get it. Found this Overwatch character Funko Pop, but they are charging $20 for it. And I did check like what it goes for. It's usually like anywhere from like 20 to 40. So not really worth the investment, but still a cool find. This Nuggets hat is also wild. The embroidery on this shit is crazy, but the brim is pretty fucked and the shaping and it's just not in the greatest condition. So I'm gonna let this slide. I'm gonna let you guys know ahead of time. What I did find is pretty bad. And I, I try to scavenge some stuff to make it seem like it was better, but it's honestly not that great. There's just a few things that are decent, but yeah, let's see what I got. All right, starting off, we have this cool Tommy Hilfiger polo with the crest right here. Not bad. Then we got, this is actually probably my favorite piece of the whole trip here. I love the vertical arrow pointing down, you know, the good stuff. <laughs> we got this Fila velvet track jacket. Not bad. Millennium Falcon long sleeve. Pretty decent. Definitely new school, but still cool. This is just like over the top. Supreme LV Ford AP Yacht Club. Like, come on. Who actually is wearing this? No one. This jersey is actually sick. This is like the Ajax logo almost, I think. And then it's got this like crazy lettering on here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but... It's like bubbling. And then this is where, this is where it kind of goes downhill. We got just some random stuff. We got this Star Wars shirt. Then we got this USA car shirt on a Sonoma tag. Mexico colorway jersey. This one's like a nice clean jersey actually. And the last piece is this Nautica jacket. It's nice and clean and simple. Got the yellow embroidery on front. It's a nice jacket. And as I was leaving, I found this Bugs Bunny polo. I decided to check the section, see what they had. This one's actually pretty sweet. Gonna consider this one. All right, so that store was pretty bad. I ended up walking out of there with like three things that aren't probably gonna go towards the challenge. Um, but the good thing is, is that there's another thrift right next door. So let's go check it out and see what they got. We toys can see everything. The nice thing about this place is that it's huge and there's so much to go through, but that's also the problem because it's all just hot ass. <laughs> Like I said, this place is bad, but you can count on it for jerseys. So we got this Blake Griffin Clippers jersey, $19 though. Gonna have to pass. And this is probably my favorite find today. Steve Nash jersey. What a beast, bro. But $29, that's steep. Then this is also probably one of the best finds today. Warner Brothers, got all the characters up on there. That shit's fire. For sure, cop. Also got Goofy, took some roids, went to the gym, looking good Goofy. And then I found this Levi's jacket for only $17. It's not bad for how long I was here. Definitely should have found more. It's cold as fuck outside, starting to snow, and I just I just don't like it at all. This is ass. I need to be somewhere warm ASAP. But um, we're at the thrift. It's 45% off today. I'm gonna find a few more things, I think. And then tomorrow is Illinois Vintage Fest again. So I'm gonna head over there, see if I can maybe sell a few things or maybe pick up a few things. A lot of the guys there end up having a little like pile of like dollar to five dollar clothes at their booth. So maybe I can scoop up a few things while I'm there. So we'll see what we can do and I'm gonna see what they got in this thrift right now. All right, let's go. So I found this Mr. Potato Head ceramic mug. It's actually pretty cool. You can like customize it and shit. It's a dope find. And for the clothes, it was honestly pretty weak today. They probably didn't restock. Still gonna see what we got. Starting off with this Mickey and Minnie long sleeve, Christmas spirit, gotta love it. Little Nirvana piece, new school, still cool. Same as these other two pieces. Looney Tunes shirt, not bad. Cool graphic on the front. 
and this Corvette tee, not bad as well. These are probably Walmart tees, but I still like them. Good price. And then we got this Mickey Mouse long sleeve with a big D on the front. Hey, yo! This is fire. Nice as this Nike ACG double layer jacket and then this jacket is sick sonoma again gotta look out for that brand this jacket looks sick on me and then the lady was bringing out a new cart and i waited and saw what she put out on this Beatles shirt this one's actually sick snoopy playing poker with the boys that's a, that's a fire tee i'm glad i waited to see what she brought out decent day overall so that thrift trip wasn't too bad but right now i'm gonna go to my workshop and ship a few orders and then i'll see you guys tomorrow at the illinois vintage fest by the way do y'all think my hat is crooked or like demented or deformed i don't really know I got it from Big Streetwear or some shit. It's a pretty cool hat. I like the design, but like that shit kind of looked demented a little bit, no? Doesn't look too bad. JK, I lied. I came to Goodwill to drop off some clothes, to donate them, and I figured I'd look at some stuff too since I'm here. I didn't really think it was gonna be that good, but it ended up being pretty decent, so let's see what I got. All right, so this is everything I found. Starting off, we got this hashtag Dale Call Mountain Dew with a crazy back hit. Just look at that shit, man. That shit's sick. Then we got a Harley. It looks like it got a little bit of bleach dyed on it, but the front's pretty sweet. Back's kind of a miss. Not too bad though. DKNY jean shirt. This one's actually, I, I don't know if this is anything, but nonetheless, it's a pretty cool shirt. All right, and we got Buckwear. You think it's kind of whatever, you know. Look at the back, bro. It says, I wear the camel pants in the family. Yes, sir. Then we got this crazy bears tee. This bear looking ferocious on the front. New school Iron Maiden tee. Not bad. I grabbed this at the beginning because I thought I wasn't going to find shit. So, I mean, it's just like a Chicago skyline tee. It's pretty cool. All right, then we got a Nike embroidered on the white tag. It looks like this shirt was like, like chewed on. Absolute beat and thrashed. So yeah, and then I found this hoodie, brown and blue hoodie, Dobello. I don't know what that is. I just thought it was cool with the embroidery. And that pretty much wraps up everything at Goodwill. The next day. Okay, damn, I'm actually a huge liar. So I was supposed to work this morning and I went there and someone else actually came in for the shift. So I didn't have to work. So basically I decided I'm gonna go thrifting first before I go to Illinois Vintage Fest, pick up a few things before I go. So I wasn't really expecting this place to go too crazy because i was literally here last week it actually is just nuts they restocked it, they got some fire ass shit today take a look at this it's got a brewer's jersey not too bad there's no tag so hopefully maybe they'll tag it for like five dollars if i bring it up there not sure maybe and we got the sick kingdom heart shirt dude kingdom heart shirt always go crazy it is a new school but like that's still crazy. I love Kingdom Hearts. Nice little Enjoy Coke tea. Then we got these Hard Rock Cafe shirts, bro. There's three of them. So we got Hard Rock Cafe Paris, Hard Rock Cafe Las Vegas, front and back. That back is kind of crazy. And then another Hard Rock Cafe Las Vegas. Nuts. Then we got Harry Otter wizarding it up on this shit. Fire. He don't give a damn. <laughs> the Adidas jacket. I just realized this is off and it's $13. So pretty much out of our budget, but it is a vintage Adidas climate cool jacket. So it is pretty cool. Um, this piece is crazy. Look at that. All over front sleeves, everything. That's a fire find. And the back. I didn't even know I had the back too. Wow. And we got this vintage Nike jersey, white tag, 90s. That one's a fire find. 100 acre wood lodge. Winnie the Pooh on the striped shirt that's clean look at this american outdoors bro what's the age on this don't got the age never mind this is just a really cool find wolf all up on this then we got this like gap athletic thermal that one's actually a nice piece i might keep this for myself just because it's like a nice clean piece we found the ed hardy joint in here look at that with the bandana print this boston shirt was just cool because it's got the puff print on it i don't know if you can tell but the print be puffing and we got a call of duty ghost shirt this one's super cool i love gaming tees like this nice little long sleeve tie-dye joint i really like these colors i might keep this for myself it is ten dollars though so i don't know got a new school umbro jersey with the arm pattern very fire i always love the checkerboard that umbro uses and then the last piece is this reebok jacket goes crazy with the arm hits wow i can't believe i just found all this shit also just found this jacket all over print not bad and on this rack in the front i found this grateful dead sweater look at that bro that tag okay that place was actually unreal i can't believe how many things they actually had i think i'm just gonna call an audible and i'm gonna bring everything that i just bought and by the way Goodwill is taxing, bro. Everything I just bought, $100, bro. What the fuck is that? That ain't thrifting. That is crazy. That's retail shopping, bro. All right, so here's my audible that I'm gonna be doing. Basically, I'm gonna bring all this stuff. If anything sells, I'm gonna do the difference from what I bought it for and how much profit or maybe I went negative on it and add that to the balance. Whatever the balance is at, we're gonna add or subtract depending on what sells. But I'm bringing everything. I'm, doing, I'm cheating a little bit. I don't give a fuck. This is my channel. I'm gonna do how I want it. I got good shit. 
I'm gonna try to make something work just for more content to make it better. And you guys should enjoy it, all right? <laughs> but uh, that's what's going on. That's how I'm gonna do it. And my friend Drew's coming too, so he's about to meet up with me in a second and then we're about to go. It's about to be a good day. Let's see how it goes. You get, you get in those? Looks like my mom. We're down to a bucket of. <laughs> one with the golden ticket, you will go home with one of these fabulous, life changing prizes from our prize wall. <laughs> it's $20 cash to play. You're guaranteed one vintage t shirt, no matter what. Oh, wait, there's more. You say, Doug Dusto, what if the shirt don't fit me? What if I don't like it? Put your shirt in there and take any one shirt you want out. Who's ready to go fishing for bangers? Which one do you think I should go for? Which one, which one do you think? Golden ticket. Golden ticket. Damn. No golden ticket. However, what shirt did you win? Yeah. Uh, jailbird shirt. Is that a keeper or do you want to trade that? Oh, look at it matches. All right. The next person. You can add that. You can even put your shirt. And then if you don't see it, Bad guy. Do you have any interest in this? That's me. Oh, dude, they got the hot chip. It's an inside. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? With the mouth full. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Reseal it, and it's official. It's official. Congratulations. Thank you for playing. Fishing for bangers. Just lovely. Lovely. Thanks, sir. All right, it's me and the bad guy. Bad guy. <laughs> Yo, so it was like super packed in there and it's like impossible to sell anything in there. Um maybe some lice. Yeah, probably some lice. Drew Drew doesn't fuck with secondhand shit. He he would. He would if it's the right thing, but he's more no of a, stains. more of a clean guy. But um with a beard. <laughs> sure. Um but nah, it's it's so hard to sell shit to people there. So I I was thinking like maybe I'm going to set up shop just like sit on the ground and fucking put all my shit cuz I mean with the stuff from Goodwill now it's kind of a lot so i could maybe make myself look like i got a booth there but i don't know drew thinks i'm gonna get uh kicked out or some shit and he's, he, he said that won't be good for the rep but um bad for the brand <laughs> but yeah, i don't know we might go back in there we might not i don't know we were only in there for like an hour and a half but it's a lot and it's like super overwhelming like events like this like there's just tons and tons of vintage so i don't really know what to do anymore we're gonna figure it out though see you on a tripod <laughs> I came to the decision. Uh, we're going home. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. All right, I'm back home. I'm pretty tired, and I got a long night ahead of me of editing this video. I'm just going to go over what happened at Illinois Vintage Fest and kind of debrief everything that's going on. So basically, my goal was to try to sell something at Illinois Vintage Fest, which I know from previous experience is not easy at all. Last time I went to Illinois Vintage Fest, I only sold one shirt. And that's just because it was one of my friends. He just wanted to support and help me out. This time around, I figured it was going to be even harder because we're inside, more condensed. Christmas time, people just trying to get that Christmas money and uh, 
and did. So I kind of knew that coming in. I kind of hoped maybe something would happen and, and something that I found at Goodwill today would maybe catch someone's interest. I honestly think I found some fire finds at Goodwill. Going back over this footage and trying to decide what's gonna count towards the challenge. I, I haven't done it yet, but I already know future me is gonna be like, damn, that was, that was hard decision making right there. <laughs> I'm not too worried. We still have a lot of things in our inventory right now. Our Depop is looking great. These are all the items that we have currently right now listed on there. And to bring up the whatnot stream again, do yourself a favor, go to the description in this video. The first link will be to my whatnot where you get $15 off your first order. Take advantage of that. I promise you it's legit. And I'm planning on having my first whatnot stream on Wednesday. What day is that? I'm planning on having my first whatnot stream on Wednesday, December 21st at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't really know what to expect. I've never done a stream like that. If you guys all come, and show your support. I'm sure we'll have a good time and we'll get a lot of cool vintage pieces for Christmas. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos and I'm just really enjoying the process and how everything is coming together. I really just appreciate you guys' support. And if you made it to the end of this video, hit that subscribe button, like, comment some shit. I don't know. Have fun with it. I'm having fun with it. And I better see you guys on my whatnot stream on Wednesday. All right, peace.